the 25th Amendment creates a path for preserving stability if a president suffers a crippling physical or mental problem and is, unquote, in the amendment, unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. The pandemic is 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle, way that we can both have a democracy. This is not about President Trump. A Harris administration together with Joe Biden as the president of the United States. Harris-Biden administration is going to relaunch that effort. The Harris-Biden administration, what does that tell you? Well, it tells us the truth, and it tells us what Kamala Harris, uh, sorry, Kamala Harris told us the other day, where she referred to the Harris administration. This is not about President Trump. A president's fitness for office must be determined by science and facts. You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know, uh, it's just inability to focus. It has to be demonstrated that whomever I pick is two things. One is capable of meeting to being president because I'm an old guy. Congress has a constitutional duty to lay out the process by which a president is president's incapacity and the president of any party is determined. Kamala knows how to, how to govern. govern. She knows she how, knows how, how to, to make the hard, hard calls. calls. She's ready, ready to do this to job, job on day, day one. one. It shows the need for us to create a process for future presidents. That's the only way.